Another top story we're following now, a local high school athlete accidentally falls 80 feet off a cliff, and this morning he died from his injuries. And this happened at Rocky Butte. The 911 call came in just after 10 o'clock last night. KT's Megan Cockstein's live on Rocky Butte. Megan, I know you talked to the teens on late this afternoon. They must absolutely be devastated. They are. She tells me that Austin Fisher was just an amazing, very sweet kid. She was actually up here late this afternoon. She was placing a basketball, which was a sport that Austin played at the very site where he fell. And we know that other kids have been doing the very same thing today. One of his friends actually said that they played together with this very basketball. Austin was 16 years old. He would have been a junior at David Douglas High School. His aunt tells me that so many of his friends were ones that Austin had since he was a little kid that when he made friends, he kept them. Last night, we know one of Austin's friends was actually up here with him. Firefighters say that he was playing around when he just slipped and fell 80 feet. Today, Austin's friends are grieving the loss of a good kid. I was always at lunch and he'd be, he'd always be, he'd be up there smiling. We would always be talking and just waiting to play basketball. But everyone that I knew really liked him. He had a really good heart and like people just respected him. Friends are leaving teddy bears and flowers at the edge of that cliff. Firefighters say this is the third accident here this summer. A climber from Austria fell and died in May, and a young woman broke her ankle when she fell 20 feet here back in June. Austin's friends are having such a hard time processing what happened here last night and then the news of his death today. They've been leaning on each other, coming up here one after another all day long. They say that this is just a tragic and very tough loss. We're live in Northeast Portland. Megan Cox. K2 News. The impact must be tremendous to lose somebody at such a young age. Megan, thank you. Family and friends organized a vigil for Austin. It is tomorrow night at 8 o'clock at the Davis, David Douglas football field. The public is welcome, but here's a note. You are not allowed to bring candles. You can bring a flashlight.